Johnny Daniel, Johnny Stamps. How are you? I'm doing great. Thanks for asking. So tonight, I have an idea in my head. And I figured I could work it out with you. And see if it comes out. Um, not really sure. Hey, Lise. Glad you're back. Not sure it's really going to work. But we're going to try. <laughs> and it might be an interesting um, thing tonight. We'll just say. So, um, so I've got this idea. And we're going to see how it plays out of doing an outline of the butterfly. This is from the Butterfly Thinlets. Um, and then taking the glimmer paper and instead of using it to do the outline, I'm thinking about keeping all the holes and then gluing the glitter in for the holes. You'll understand in a minute, I think. So, we'll see how it goes. I'm just not completely sure how it's going to work out, but... That's sometimes the best things, and other times, well, that's when you break stuff and end up throwing it away. So we'll, we're just going to see what happens tonight. Um, I got the glimmer paper last week. I haven't had a lot of time to play, which is, you know, work and stuff. Um, so I'm just, anyways, we're just going to see what happens, right? forgot to get a card base so sorry about that all right so I've got my thick white card base card stock rather and I've um, done a mat of five and a quarter by four this is gray card stock so that way I have my mat um, here's my big shot I've got basic black um, and that I've cut in a mat as well, same size, because I am going to use the black as the outline um, for the butterfly. So not actually going to use the whole mat, just going to use a portion of it. Um, and I'm trying to think. See, this is where the whole thought thing comes in. Uh-oh, huh? Um, I'm actually thinking I'm going to use this for my base so the glitter really pops through it and then use this for the outline instead so we're gonna see how this works and then I'll have room to do um, the words and that kind of thing um, so I've got my big shot here I've got my brush die um, that you'll see over here later I'll bring it out I've got my fine tip glue I've got my sponge with multi-purpose glue yes I forgot my binder clip don't really care tonight I just want a stamp. How about you? So, um, so with this card, if it works out right, you'll end up cutting a whole bunch of butterflies. Um, because what I want to do is have like a rainbow effect, for lack of better terms, with the glitter. So I have some pink, some green, some blue. Yes, Bermuda Bay. Yes, Mint Macaron. You know, but um, this is what I'm aiming for. So we're going to see how this works. And my, my pad has moved because of the big shot. So one second, and I'm going to readjust. And I'm going to wait for the screen to catch up to me. And hopefully, I got a little bit of a lag going on, but that's OK. Um, I can still pull down just a tiny bit more. No, I think I'm just about centered. What do you guys think? Hi, Miss Sandy. How are you, hun? <laughs> so I've got my paper pumpkin box, and I've got my little roller chumpy here. So um, the key to not having the um, brush, um, the bristles, rather, catch in your paper or your cardstock is you want to do short little bursts. If you roll a long ways, that's when your paper gets tangled. So um, just a heads up. Alrighty, so we got a butterfly, not with all the stuff popped out. So yes, I'm going to have to use my paper piercer, right, Lace? Of course, right? So let's get that going here. 
And I think I'm moving too quick for all this. So, did I say chumpy? Oh my goodness, I might have. Anyways, all right, so let's pick all these out. So in the meantime, let's talk about what's going on. Since Sandy's on, we're going to talk about casino night happening March 4th. If you want to get tickets, you can contact her. Um, it's supposed to be a great fun night. Um, I don't remember how much tickets are, so if you want to comment on that, I'd be more than happy to, you know, have that on my thread, Sandy. Um, so it's going to be a great fun night fundraiser for Copper Mountain College Foundation. And yes, this is what I do when we are picking little holes out of the butterfly, is we are talking about the events that are coming up, of course, right? So March 4th is the casino night. Thank you, Sandy. So it's 50 bucks a person. Is there a break if you bring a friend or have a couple or anything like that? Anyways, comment below. Let me know. <laughs> Thanks, Sandy. <laughs> so, um, so Stampin' Up! Um, Red Door Girls is partnering with Sandy and or Copper Mountain College Foundation and we're helping make some of the decorations or at least bring in a portion to it. I'm getting to the car show, but we're doing chronological, Joel. So let's see. And then, um, <laughs> thanks. You get a good old whopping discount of two for a hundred. <laughs> awesome. <laughs> Thanks, Sandy. <laughs> Alrighty, so we've got the casino night, and that's up at the college, I'm assuming, right? At the Bell Center? So if you need a ride or anything else, please let me know. And even if I end up not going, or my car's already full, which is more of the optimistic side of me, which is what I want to say, um, we'll always figure out a way to get you there. So... We'll, we'll have fun. So, so anyway, so there's casino night on March 4th. And then you're going to have a little bit of a breather on the 11th, unless I'm missing something. And then the 18th, ooh, this one's not coming out, people. Um, on the 18th of March, we've got the car show and street fair. All right, you guys, unless the glimmer paper is much easier, I might end up doing one color because this is going to drive me insane. I forgot my wax paper, and that's why it's, like, causing me a little bit of anxiety. Anyways, um, so we've got the Car Show Street Fair on the 18th. Um, it's going to be a good time. We actually just secured a contract for tethered hot air balloons. Um, actually, one balloon, sorry. Um, I believe prepaid tickets are going to be $20, and if you buy them at the door of the basket, right, um, it'll be like $25 or something like that. Don't hold me to that, because we're still working out all the logistics of it, um, but kind of a cool thing, right? So, um, lots of cool cars, vendors, you know, all that fun stuff. So we should have a good time with that, as long as, cross your fingers, there's no wind that day. <laughs> So, oh yes, the carnival's coming. Thank you, Sandy. Oh my goodness, I just talked to Lori about this, about possibly vending at the flea market that they do in conjunction with the Rotary Spring Carnival, which is March 9th through 12th. Um, it'll be down at Lucky Park, and you'll have to go see the park because they are going to be finished repaving and doing all the sidewalks, curbs, gutters, and ramps and all that other kind of stuff. Um, so that would be, so we've got Carnival. Um, the circus already left. Sorry, guys. So let's see. We've got Carnival. We have Car Show. We have Casino Night. So we've got something for the adults, something for the kids. What else do we have going on? I'm trying to think. Oh, Relay for Life, of course. That would be April 1st. Um, they're always looking for teams. They're always looking for walkers. This year, it's only 12 hours instead of 24. So you don't have to ruin your whole weekend. But um, if you want to still have fun for 24 hours, I'm sure somebody will be up for that. Um, but it is only 12 hours from Sandy, 10 a.m. to 10 p.m., I believe. Um, I hear the bagpiper is really good for the luminary lap, um, the memorial lap or survival lap. Um, there's still chances to sponsor tables for the survivor breakfast that morning. 
I'm almost done with the butterfly. Let's see. Spang Chef will be playing, of course, for wi Rhythm Wine, Wine and Brews Festival. How about you guys just comment and then I have everything in one place. How's that? Feel free. <laughs> Definitely feel free. Um... Because I'm trying to think of all the different things. Springtime is when things start happening again. Yahoo, right? And I just broke my butterfly, so my butterfly is going to have a hole. And that's okay. Because it's live and that's just how things work sometimes. So, all right. I am thinking I am going to do the blue. Because I am not sure how many times I actually want to cut this guy. Because... Sometimes things like that annoy me. We'll just say that. <laughs> so, oh well. Alrighty, so, let's see. So what other events do we have? Yes, and Spang Shaft is playing up in Big Bear. Yes, Joel, I know. But it's not all Spang Shaft, sweetheart. So, there's other things happening. And I know you love it, but, you know. Um, let's see here. So what else is going on? The Inn always has great music, especially on Friday evenings, if you want to sit patio side and be able to have a glass of wine and some appetizer and that kind of thing. Um, my gosh, this is sounding like a chamber thing, huh? So, alrighty. So let's see. Let me move stuff. Move stuff, move stuff. Alright. This one is looking a little easier. Gosh, I hope so, because that one really gave me a run for my money. We'll just say. Alrighty. I don't know about that brush because here's why I'm thinking this. I have to keep the holes this time, right? So we're going to have to poke and punch through and see. Yes, it's tedious, but I think the look is going to be gorgeous, and that would be why I'm doing it. <laughs> so um, sometimes the ideas in my head don't exactly come out to what it's supposed to be but that's okay because that's how you get something better especially when I got people talking on here and figuring everything out right so um, so let's see what else is going on what other events are happening the grub steak stays is coming in May I do know that um, spring break is coming in April and boy don't I know that with my kid at least because she is already ready to be on break really um, so let's see I'm working on my virtual class which is not going as well as I thought it would um, there's a lot of legalism to how things are worded and everything else so I'm working on that right now along with everything else I've got going on um, and it'll come together when it's supposed to. It's just not there yet. And I know some of you were really hoping. I am still working on it. I have not given up. But you know me and technology and legalisms and all that nonsense. So, and I have to keep these kind of in order. So I'm trying, guys. I'm trying. I'm trying. So, um, let's see. So what else are we doing? What else is happening in this lovely valley of ours? Do we know? So, April 6th through 8th, I think it is, I will be going to convention for Stampin' Up! and hopefully learning some really cool things. Um, trying to qualify for center stage right now, which translates to extra training and some really great access to resources that I love. Um, I've got one more team member to get before I qualify again because I did have a couple drop out. Um, so we'll see how it goes. I don't know. If it's meant to be, it'll be. So, I'm really hoping it's meant to be because I like going. <laughs> but, <laughs> we shall see. Alrighty. Oh my goodness. I had to pick the one with all the little teeny tiny holes, didn't I? Oh well. So what else do we have to talk about besides, oh, Survivor Brunch. Okay, so Sandy, tell us more about Survivor Brunch, because other than sponsorship, do you have to be a survivor to attend? Like, what exactly is entailed in that? Can you comment and please let me know, please, because I don't know much about that. Um, oh, Fat Tuesday Mixer. Oh, I missed that. If you want to come get some beads and network and meet some great people, because I'll be there. Um, <laughs> yeah, I had to say it. And I'm pretty sure Sandy will be 
there too. Anyways, February 28th, the third in the evening, we're going to be at Mary Lou's, which is a new pub downtown. No, I have not been yet. I hear the food is awesome. And the portions are um, actually a decent size, which translates to if you're still on your diet from New Year's, you don't have to completely bust it because it's not like huge, like um, buffet serving kind of sizes. So you could totally stay on your diet and still come. And well, and if you wanted to bust your diet, then you'd have a glass of wine or two. So that's what I'm looking at right now. Um, so I will definitely be there. Hello, being the VP of the chamber. Um, I will definitely be there and probably be helping run something as always. Right. So, um, but it's fun. I love meeting everybody and seeing everybody out. And the more we can gather, the more we can learn about each other. Did you read the E! News this week? I heard the person that wrote the article was awesome. That would be me. Anyways, um, so I wrote an article this week and talked about that events don't always have a place if the purpose isn't correct. But if you are there to gather and to learn more about each other, then you definitely are in the right place. And the more you can learn about each other, the more you trust each other, and the more you could do business. Guy, that's gorgeous. Too bad we're not going to use it, huh? <laughs> so... Oh my goodness, all those holes! Ah! So, <laughs> oh well. Alright, let's see what trouble we can get into, huh? Alrighty, and I forgot my glue. Oh my goodness. I had all my stuff for my butterfly, but I forgot the snail. And if I could do a straight line, it'd be awesome. No, I have not started drinking yet. I probably should have, and then things would have gone a lot easier, but it's just what it is. Alrighty, so I am putting my little bit battered butterfly up here. And you can either use the fine tip glue, but honestly, I'm kind of done with fine tip anything now. Because look at all the details, right? So I'm actually going to use our multi-purpose glue. And I'm going to use a sponge, and I'm going to use the side of my mat, and I'm just going to squeeze some out, and cap this so it works next time when I want it to, and let's see here, I'm going to dab some off onto my scrap, and then I am just going to pick my not so pretty side, and I'm going to dab glue. And peel it up, hopefully, before it tears more. Oh, okay, so I'm going to do this. And yes, it's beaten and battered, but when you do it at home, you will take your sweet time. And that means that things will not be the same way, you know? So some days it's better than others. So here's what I'm thinking. I know, right? This is my brain working. So um, I am thinking I am going to put a little dab of glue on every single one of these little pieces. And I don't think you're going to stick around for the whole thing. And no, I do not have one already finished. I should have done that, but I might just do the big pieces and then see what happens. I don't know. Um, it's always an adventure, right? So... Um, so did everybody have dinner yet? I know, Joel. I know I didn't feed you yet, so please don't comment. I don't even know what I'm making yet. Ah, so, um, did anybody else have dinner? <laughs> I might need ideas. I think I'm making pancakes or cereal or something. Guy, I live a normal life, don't I? <laughs> so, alrighty, so here we go. Here's our accent pieces. I think I'm just going to do the big pieces and see what it looks like. And so I've got, I'm trying to stay in the picture here because I don't always remember to and half the time I'm doing stuff like, oh, we need to go the correct way. Some of these are left and some of these are right. Um, but I always, I don't always remember to stay in the frame. So I'm telling you stuff that I'm doing and I'm so not even. You had breakfast for dinner. Well, yes, of course you did, Lisa. It's Wednesday, right? So... 
And you're on the board for the Boys and Girls Club, so you need to make sure to share with me stuff that's going on. So that way we can help each other out and make sure everybody does well. Because that's what we're here for. Right, Sandy? You are the biggest proponent I know of if everybody helps each other, we'd all get exactly what we all need. Not always what we want, but definitely what we need. So, all right, this is coming together, huh? All right, now I gotta find the piece. Oh my goodness, hold on. Now I gotta find the piece that actually matches this hole. This is getting harder and harder. <laughs> so, all righty, let's see what we got here. Uh, and I am so sticky and glittery, but I love it anyways. It's all good. So, wow, that's coming together. I like that. So we're going to get these long pieces. I want to fill in down here. And then that might be what I end up doing tonight. I don't know. Because I don't want you guys to go, oh my gosh, she's crazy and she kept me here all night. But, well, I'm crazy and I might have kept you here all night, right? So, alrighty. Oh, and we're already working on Pioneer Days. That's the other one. Forgot to tell you guys that. So, hey, if you have comments about what you'd like to see in Pioneer Days, please let me know. Or what you definitely would not like to see. Hi, Nanette! Or Nanny. Or... Oh, my goodness! So good to hear from you! So, everybody, meet Nanette. Nanette is actually, if you remember Sam McCrory... That's her nanny, or nana, or grandma, or, well, she's just a special dear friend, and she actually gave me the idea for my card that I used for this weekend. So, so that's what I'm thinking we're going to end up with, because I'm not doing all those little tiny holes. Oh my goodness, no way. So, um, so that's what I'm looking at for this one. And now I wish I had cut another one, because look at this. That is just gorgeous, isn't it? Um, but I didn't. So maybe, no, not right. Anyways, so this is what we're ending up with tonight. <laughs> oh, my goodness. It's like reading a story in live, huh, Mandy? <laughs> How are you? <laughs> God, everybody's joining me tonight. Awesome. <laughs> so... Ah, uh, Nana. Sorry, Nanette. Got it. I will refer properly, obviously. And so good to see you. Um, glad you caught me. So, so anyways, I am sticky beyond. Oh my goodness, but that's okay. Alrighty, so I am just looking at that is just gorgeous. All right, so, so that's what I'm looking at for this. And oh my goodness, so. What I'll end up doing is finishing this card later and posting it in the next couple days because, yes, my life is crazy, so it might take me a couple days. And the new glitter paper or glimmer paper is available in the second release for Celebration Lease, which is February 21st is when it starts. Yes, I have the um, booklets, and I have to pick up or go drop Joel off for motorcycle stuff on Friday. So I figured I would drop all that off with you on Friday afternoon. So you had the weekend to look over it. Isn't that awesome? So, um, so that's that. I got you covered, girl. That's all there is to it, huh? So I think that's all that I'm going to do for tonight. Definitely comment if you think of another event or if you think of anything else that's going on in the basin or any of the details weren't clear, please feel free to comment. I, as soon as this is finished, I will be posting more. But definitely community, definitely want to work together. Definitely, you know, this is just a great place to gather and to find out what's going on. And hey, if you need a ride, let me know because if I don't go, I usually know somebody that is. So, because if I don't go, Sandy's usually going, right, Sandy? <laughs> so, so yeah, it's it's awesome. Love this community, and um, usually what it offers, you know, it can be tough at times, but just like any family, that's just what it is. So, um, so Lise, if you have fundraiser stuff or anything going on with Boys and Girls Club, please feel free to let me know that. I'd be happy to pass that info along, get some help. Let's just figure it out, okay? So. Um, oh, I need to show you. Joel helped me 
which translates to he did most of the engineering on this. So I just said, hey, can you make this? So this is actually um, the Stamp of the Month Club lease. So all the pictures, which is what I'm working on finishing right now and typing out all the instructions for you. Um, this is called a treat bag. Um, when you undo it, it actually folds completely flat and it uses three 12 by 12 pieces of paper. So um, yes, it's also on Split Coast, but I will be publishing all that. So if you do Stamp of the Month Club, you will be getting this as well as two other cards with instruction and I just thought it was really cool. Um, and I'm so grateful that I have a husband that's willing to help me with the engineering side of it. When I go, I'm stopped and I can't do it. So stop it, Joel. Anyways, so um, that's about all I have for tonight because I think I might have to feed a teenager before she eats all the pretzels in the house because I think we're about a half a bag down already. So, um, so that's about all that we have for tonight. Find me on Johnny Stamps on YouTube. Find me on johnnydaniel.stampinup.net. And if you want to find me in real life, well, follow the truck that has Stampin' Up! on it. I've been followed before. It doesn't really scare me unless you don't have teeth in or some strange guy. That hasn't happened yet, thankfully. So, alrighty, so I will leave you with that and um, post the finished card when I'm all done with it. And... So glad to see some of you that I haven't seen in a long time. So without anything else, I will see you later. Thank you. Bye-bye.